Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. Um, what karma are they currently facing? Uh, so this is going to be for the zodiac sign of Cancer. So I thought I would do something, you know, different and fun. Uh, this is as per requested by a viewer. I thought it was a good idea, so I thought I would give it a try here. Um, so basically, we are going to take a look at, um, you know, what your person uh, did to you in the past here. So this could be either an ex, a family member, um, a friend, a coworker. Um, so just take it as it resonates and then uh, we'll finish off the read with what karma they are currently facing or will face um, uh, for the rest of May and onward. Um, so before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm getting close to hitting the 10,000 subscriber mark. So I would like to choose two winners for a one hour personal reading with me. The way that you enter this uh, giveaway is by hitting the subscription button, the notification bell. Um, giving this video a thumbs up. Also, uh, leaving a comment in the comment section below with the hashtag uh, 10k. Uh, once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I will um, go through all my comments, select two winners, and make the announcement on the um, community tab. So once once I make the announcement, either you the winners could uh, leave their email address in the uh, comments section below, and I will email you to set up the personal readings. If you're uncomfortable with doing that, you could feel free to email me because I will leave my email address in the post. Um, also, those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Cancer, so let's get started. Tell me about the, can uh, the person that can uh, Cancer is uh, dealing with. What did Cancer's person do to them in the past here? What were their past actions towards cancer? Recent or past actions towards cancer here? So this is a person that you're not currently talking to, okay? Just keep that in mind. Yeah, not talking to or don't have a relationship with um, all right, Queen of Cups. Okay, Cancer. So there you are. Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy. Let me just adjust this a little here. I don't know. It feels crooked, but uh, I don't know. All right. Seven of Swords. Okay. Five of Swords, you could have been dealing with someone that was super manipulative. Um, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, I feel like the person that you were dealing with was very childish, Aries energy with the Fool. And the Eight of Swords, yeah, there was a sense of feeling stuck by this person. This person kept you trapped, this person lied to you, this person uh, gaslit you. It was just a lack of peace here. I mean, I feel like you were dealing with someone that wasn't really trustworthy or reliable. All right, let's see what's going on here, Cancer. Tell me about this magician. Uh, I feel like this person manipulated you in a way where they feel made you feel like really insecure, made you feel very alone here. 
keep this in mind. This could be with an ex, friend, family, coworker. So take it as it resonates. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Five of Wands. Yeah, there was a lot of fighting here. So you fought a lot with this person. And I feel like a lot of these fights stems from, you know, lying or being unreliable or something like that. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Eight of Swords. Yeah, this person made you feel like something was happening behind your back all the time. I mean, we have the Eight of Swords here two times. Tell me about Temperance. All right, we have the Page of Wands. So you might have been dealing with someone that was maybe younger than you, a fire sign here. Doesn't have to be. They could have fire in their chart. Either Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Might be dealing with an Aries. Yeah. Because you have the Fool here too. You were dealing with someone that was very childlike that threw a lot of temper tantrums. Uh, we have the Nine of Wands here. I mean, you could have been really sick of this person's antics, or this person might have might have been very wounded, um, might be wounded with a lot of trauma, and that's why they were behaving like this. Uh, there's a sense of control here, wanting to control you, Cancer. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. You have the Queen of Cups again. Keep this in mind, Cancer. I mean... This could be you doing this to someone or, or someone doing it to you. Like, take it as it resonates, okay? You have the four of wands on the bottom of the deck here. You could be dealing with a twin flame connection. Those are really hard relationships, by the way. I have a twin flame. I must say, being with him was probably one of the... I would say one of the worst eight, eight months of my life, looking back at that. So, yeah. Not that these relationships can't work. They absolutely could work. But both people have to, have to be willing to sit down and work together to transcend whatever karmic lessons that was carried over from a past life. Um, but personally, I've never seen them work. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, um, if it does work, it's more, um, it's more of, uh, 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 like a, like a, like a toxic, uh, thing going, uh, so, Magician being clarified by the Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords being clarified by the Five of Wands, we have the Five of Swords being clarified by the Eight of Swords, Temperance being clarified by the page of wands this is yeah when i see this as a combo especially with the seven of, it's this is not yeah this is not a really good combo i feel like there's a sense of paranoia here going on too yeah you have the nine of wands there also yeah just like paranoia about you know someone here doing something behind your back perhaps cheating on you that sort of thing or just being sneaky uh, stealing things whatever it may be um, yeah, you have pentacles here too. So this person could have sucked you dry emotionally, physically, mentally, and materially. I don't think that's a word, but, you know, with material things such as money and things and stuff like that. Um, home, take it as it resonates. Full, being clarified by the Nine of Wands. Eight of Swords, being clarified by the Queen of Cups. All right, Cancer. So let me just take a look, see what's going on in regards to your person. Um, so tell me about the um, person that Cancer is dealing with here. What, what karma are they currently facing or will face moving forward for the rest of May and onward? What does Cancer need to know here about their person? What kind of karma are they facing? What are they currently facing or will face moving forward here? All right, let's see, Cancer. It's hard, especially if you have one person that's extremely mature and then you have another person that acts like a little child.
All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of this deck here. All right, the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, Four of Cups here, Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot, Cancer, Energy. So there you are again, Cancer. All right, Queen of Cups, there you are again. So I'm feeling like this Queen, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, I'm feeling like this is you, and I feel like this little page here, this fool, uh, I, 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 so the Page of Wands is pretty much an equivalent to the fool some, uh, for me sometimes. Uh, it really depends on the read and the question or something like that, but I, I just feel like you're dealing with someone that's extremely, extremely childish. All right, you have the Tower here. Very Scorpio energy. So what kind of karma are they going to, are they facing right now, or will they face? You know, I feel like, I mean, if you know this person well, I feel like this person runs around blowing their life up. And they expect someone to help them salvage it, or save it, or save them. So I'm feeling like this is not really a relationship, especially if this person, this page, is an older person that acts like a little child. It's more like a sort of like parent-child relationship thing. Uh, I feel like um, there's this energy of um, maybe this person saw you as a nurturing energy that could take care of them, so that's what attracted them to you, or you attracted them yeah, um, so, you know, that doesn't, yeah, that doesn't work. So there is this energy of, like, feeling like you're, you're taking care of a little child instead of, you know, this person being able to take care of their own, uh, of themselves. Um, let's see, tell me about this high priestess here. High Priestess and the Hermit here. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Seven of Wands. I mean, it's bound to happen again, especially if this person doesn't un unwind their traumas here. Uh, the Empress. I'm feeling that that's you. Tell me about the chariot. You have judgment here. So this person is seeking a second chance, but I don't think you're gonna allow it. Tell me about the queen of cups. Queen of cups over the queen of cups. Tell me about the tower. You have the king of wands. So I'm feeling this king of wands is this page of wands in this fool here. Um. I'm feeling like this person lost you due to their really bad behavior here. Yeah, I, I, so I'm feeling like you completely, so I'm feeling like you completely walked away from this person. And now this person has to sit by themselves to deal with their emotions and they're not doing well. Yeah, I feel, I, I feel like they're pushing away or hiding it. They're looking for a second chance with you to help save them, but um, you're not allowing that. If anything, if this person is going to come back or will come back to you for a second chance, I feel like you're just going to get in your chariot and just drive away. Yeah, Cancer, you're done with this person. Um, I feel like you sort of wised up, and this person hasn't wised up yet. This person hasn't really changed. Yeah. All right, we have the two, no, the High Priestess being clarified by Hermit. Four Cups being clarified by the Seven of Wands. Ace of Pentacles being clarified by the Empress. The Chariot being clarified by the Judgment card. And then we have the Queen of Cups being clarified by the King uh, the Queen of Cups being clarified by the Queen of Cups, 
the Tower being clarified by the King of Wands. So I feel like I feel like you're going to reject this person, and I feel like this person's going to throw a huge temper tantrum. I'm feeling like this person's done it many times. I feel like this person is one of those types that if they don't get what they want, they'll stomp on the floor, they'll throw themselves on the floor, they'll roll around the floor, and they'll scream like a crazy person. So, Cancer, this is your um, general reading. Uh, what karma are they facing? Uh, if this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.